Welcome to Five Minutes Ago, a show we wrote, well, five minutes ago. To infinity and beyond. With our hosts, Molly Plunkett, Alec Karagosian, Jess Gurung, and Asa Rosemeyer. With guest hosts, Danny, Davis, Joe, and Troy. Fasten your seatbelts. Hey everyone, welcome to Five Minutes Ago. And a special welcome to our guest hosts this week, seniors Davis Ingersoll, Danny Karma, Joe Gaziano, and Troy Stevader. We're all super happy to be here on Five Minutes Ago. Nice to see you guys. I believe this is the first time in Five Minutes Ago history we've had a quartet of guest hosts in the same room. Why are all four of you guys together? We're actually all part of Miss Masterson's light blue uh, back table group. Well, it's nice to be joined by the infamous back table. And now for this week's announcements. Congratulations to our Marauders of the Week, Lulu Condor and Inessa Condor. The PTSO is celebrating acts of kindness next week with fun activities for BHS students. Look out for daily events at lunchtime, including lawn games, minute to win it games, prizes, a photo booth, and other surprises. The Class of 2026 Shirt Design Contest has ended with design number one winning. If you'd like to order a shirt, just scan the QR code or check your email for a link to the form. The all-night party needs volunteers. Parents or guardians for students in grades 9 to 11 are encouraged to sign up and pay it forward. We need at least 100 volunteers, especially for the early hours of the morning. This is an event that seniors really look forward to, and it is only possible with your help. For more information, check the description. Please upload photos of your favorite moments at Belmont High School, your baby photos, and your yearbook photos on the Class of 2023 photo submission form linked in the description. The Publicity Committee will be making a video to air during the all-night party. The link will also be shared with the Class of 2023. On Friday, May 19th, the 6th grade outdoor social needs volunteers from 2.45 to 4.30 p.m. They need help with monitoring games, giving out tickets, and snacks. Students will receive community service hours for their time. To sign up, fill out the form in the description. TEDx Belmont High School is hosting their second annual event this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 12 outside the BHS cafeteria. Come see your fellow students give insightful talks about all kinds of topics, from artificial intelligence to the social benefits of the internet. Tickets are free and can be booked at TEDxBelmont.com in the description or in person right next to the cafe. If you have any questions, email TEDxBelmontHighSchool at gmail.com. And now for our sports announcements. Big news from the boys track team. At one of their meets, seniors Ronnie Rubenstein, Jason Kim, Alex Coelho, and sophomore Jared Reif broke the BHS distance medley relay record. They clocked in at 10 minutes, 52.3 seconds. Amazing stuff, guys. The girls team has also had a huge year so far, quite literally, as their roster is a whopping 70 people. Congratulations to senior Ava Dolan for her Middlesex League best four minute, 20 second mile, as well as sophomore Dana Lur, who qualified for states in the two mile with a time of 11 minutes, 45 seconds. Great work from both teams and good luck with the rest of the season. And now for our arts announcements. The Marching Marauders spring season has begun. The group is rehearsing on May 16th and 23rd from 5 to 6 p.m. If interested, please send an email to Miss LaCasse. You can still join and perform in the Memorial Day Parade. Look out for the band on the May 29th Parade Group. Congratulations to all our student artists and teachers who participated in the K-12 Art Show. The Art Show was a great success and showed a range of talent and skills that are taught in our visual arts program. Today is the last day that art will be up, so make sure to check it out. Thank you to the hundreds of families and community members who attended and supported our artists. And now for our final Weldon Discovers. Weldon is here, Weldon is there, Weldon Discovers everywhere. Just outside the front doors of hollowed halls is a landscape that embodies all of nature's splendor, where you can find the perfect balance of nostalgia, Serenity and E. coli. Clay Pit Pond is a glorious spectacle. Nestled into the shadow of Belmont High School, it offers picturesque views and possibly a toxic swamp monster. From historical industrial site to dangerous town burden, and now an iconic community centerpiece, the pond's story is as colorful as the oily sheen on its surface. I met with Belmont's local historian to learn more about the secrets it hides beneath its depths. 
In the early 1900s, it used to be a brickyard where they used to dig up clay in order to manufacture bricks. And how did it become a pond? Well, once all the clay was used up, the brick factory abandoned the site and eventually the Wellington Brook was diverted to fill the pit along with rainfall, uh, street runoff and other drainage till it became the pond that it is today. Most of the rumors are true, like a giant power shovel was left behind and is still at the bottom of the pond. And before recent cleanups, 30 ducks died of botulism from the pond in the 80s, and I assume their ghosts continue to haunt its shores, though I don't have proof. Today, I discovered a local landmark that is a place in our hearts, but never our stomachs, mouths, skin, eyes, ears, or other orifices. It may not be perfect, but it's part of what we'll always consider home. Wow, Weldon, I never knew that much about Clay Pit Pond. I wish every high school had the chance to witness a Clay Pit Pond swan infestation. Last week, we asked you if you prefer metal, paper, plastic, or silly straws, and we got some great responses. Here are the top three. At number three, we have, I like silly straws because I strive to be a silly billy in all senses of the word. At number two, we have veggie straws because they add extra flavor and texture to your drink. And at number one, we have Silly Straws because they're extra special. And the winner was Silly Straws with 40%. And just so you know, paper straws earn zero. Yes, zero votes. This week, we want to know, what's the best Boston sports team? Is it the Celtics, Patriots, Bruins, or Red Sox? What do you guys think? The Patriots because of Tom Brady, of course. Any team with Al Horford has my vote. You know, as a hockey player myself, I got to go with the Bruins. I'm going to have to say the Celtics because they actually know how to close out a playoff series. Oh, that's harsh, Troy. Well, I'm going to have to side with Davis and Troy on this one. Hopefully the Seas take care of business and win the chip this year. Well, you four, thank you all for hopping on the show. Happy to be on Five Minutes Ago, guys. Big D signing off. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at 5 Go underscore BHS. Also hit the QR code on the screen to find the question of the week. Okay. He can't leave. He can't have to come back. He's staying alive. I know. Outside of the BHS costume. Just stop for one second. Danny, you are going to be on <laughs> camera. Oh, 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 wait, no. I wasn't looking. Joe, you have to do it again. Danny, you, you cannot kidding? have your head in your sweatshirt. I read it so I can okay, okay. Can no. Stop talking! Sorry, sorry. Intelligence to the social benefits of the internet. Tickets are free. <laughs> Dude, Steph, <laughs> Davis. <laughs> say it, just say it. Yeah, let's, say, let's have a take. All right, bro, if anyone tries to call me for this, no, we will not. I'll, I'll, I'll defend, defend you. you. That's all I love. You. You. We all got uh, your back. I hope so. All right. Big D signing off. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think it's okay, and Ethan, I think it's okay if they start laughing at him and you keep that in the cut. I think that's totally fine. <laughs>